Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of WebTech Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to sign up for Chat GPT. Watch the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting that subscribe button. Press the notification bell so that you'll never miss another upcoming upload from us. If you want to sign up to Chat GTP, then the process is quite easy. Open up a web browser first and in the URL box type in openai.com slash blog slash chat GTP. Press enter on your keyboard and you'll end up in this OpenAI website. Click on the Try Chat GPT button at the bottom left hand corner and on the next page Click on the sign up button in order to register or create a new account for ChatGPT. To create a new account, you'll need to provide an email address or you can also continue with your Google account or with a Microsoft account. In the create your account page, go ahead and enter an email address that you have an access to or you can also continue with a Google account by clicking on this option or with a Microsoft account. If you want to create a new account right away, quicker. In my case, I'm going to provide an email address. While typing in an email address, make sure to enter the email address you have an access to. Once you are done, click on I'm not a robot. Now, complete the captcha and click next. After you are done, very fine. Click on the continue button. On the next page, you'll need to create a password for yourself. Enter the password, which is at least 8 characters long. After you are done, click continue. Now, you'll need to verify your email address that you've provided. Click on the link that is provided in the display and it will take you directly to the email that you've associated with OpenAI. Click open the inbox that you received and click on verify email address. Once your email has been verified, you'll need to go ahead and enter further details about you. Type in your first name and then your last name and click continue. Select your country from the drop down and type in your phone number. Click on send code and enter the code that you received via SMS on a mobile number. Make sure to type in the correct code and it will take you to a next page. Go through the on-screen preview in order to know how you can use chat GTP and once you've completed the tour, you'll be able to see that you have successfully signed up for chat GTP. Chat GTP is a new tool from OpenAI that allows you to have a conversation with a chat bot. All you have to do is type in your text in the text box and click on the send button to receive your information. You'll receive information about any inquiry you type from questions to statements. That is how you can easily create a new account or sign up for a chat GPT, how to log into your chat GTP account on a computer. If you want to log into your chat GPT account and you don't know how then the process is quite easy. All you need to do is to open up a web browser and in the URL box type in openai.com slash blog slash chat GPT and press enter on your keyboard. Then after you do that you'll end up in this page. All you need to do now is to click on the try chat GTP link at the bottom left hand corner which will take you to two options. Click on the login button for an existing account so that you can log in and access to your account and in order to log into your account, you'll need to provide your email address and its password. Make sure to enter the email address that you associated with the account while signing up for it. Go ahead and type it in correct and click on I'm not a robot and solve the puzzle in order to verify that you are a real human being and click next. Once you go through the process, you'll be able to see that you are verified. Once you are done, Click on the continue button. On the next page, it will ask you for your password. Go ahead and enter the password that you created while signing up for chat GPT. And in case you don't remember your password, you can retrieve it back by clicking on forgot password link right beneath the password box. After you have a password, enter it right here and click on the continue button. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to see that you have successfully logged into your chat GPT account. How to change password for chat GPT Open up a web browser. If you are looking for a way to change your password for chat GPT, then remember that you'll not be able to do it from your chat GPT account. So you'll need to first log out of your chat GPT. Click the log out button from the main home page at the bottom left and once you end up in the chat GPT login and sign up option, click on the login button. Now. 
enter your email address associated with your OpenAI account and click on I'm not a robot. Now click the continue button. When it asks you for your password, click on forgot password. Confirm your email address if it is correct or not and click continue. You need to now check your email inbox. Open up a new tab and open up the same email inbox that you used while registering for chat GPT. Once you open up your inbox, you'll be able to see an email from OpenAI. Click it open and click on reset password. Enter the new password in the text box you'd like to change to. Now re-enter the password again and finally click reset password. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to change your password for chat GPT. A quick and easy step on how to check conversation history on chat GPT. Open up your web browser on your mobile device or any other device that you are using and type in chat.openai.com and search. Type in your credentials for your OpenAI account and log into your chat GPT. Once you're inside the main homepage, tap the hamburger menu at the top left. Soon after you do that, an expanded menu pop-up will appear. You'll be able to see your conversation history right here that you've made with chat gpt now if you tap on the conversation it'll show you more details about the conversation that you've made that is how you can easily view your conversation or check your conversation history on chat gpt how to delete or clear chat gpt history using your iphone so keep watching the video till the end go ahead and open up a web browser and type in chat.openai.com and make sure to log into your chat gpt account tap on the hamburger menu at the top left hand corner and you'll be able to see all of your chat history displayed in the pop-up if you want to delete your chat gpt history then simply go ahead and tap on the three dots at the bottom right next to your email address and tap on clear conversation tap on the button one more time where it says confirm clear conversations and that way you'll be able to delete your history on chat gpt that is how it can be easily done i hope the tutorial was helpful to you how to get long answers from chat gpt if you think the responses generated by chat gpt is shorter than you expected then you can always extend it a little longer after chat gpt has answered to your question and it has finally stopped if you're not satisfied with the length of the answers that you are getting, you can always extend it by typing in continue or more in the text box. Soon after you do that, ChatGPT will continue writing for the same question that you ask. That is how it can be easily done. If you want to get long answers from ChatGPT, all you need to do is to go ahead and type in continue or more and the chat will again start following up the prompt. How to use chat GPT for language translation. Since chat GPT is a language model that can be used for language translation, in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how. Open up your chat GPT on a web browser or simply open up your chat GPT from a mobile device and, and make sure that you are logged into your account. Once you're inside the main homepage, you'll be able to see the text box from where you can send in whatever you like and chat with the chat gpt bot in the text box if you want to use chat gpt for language translation simply go ahead and type in translate and then just put in a bracket or something and enter a sentence that you'd like to translate for example let me type in this sentence over here now once you close off your bracket go ahead and type in the language you'd like to translate it to. In my case, I'm going to type Korean. Now, once you've done that, tap the send button and you'll be able to see that you've successfully translated a language with the help of chat GPT. Let me show you again. Go ahead and type in translate. How are you feeling? Close it off with a column and type in to and the name of the language for example i'm gonna type in russian soon after you do that send in your command and you'll be able to see that the text now has been changed that is how you'll be able to use your chat gpt for language translation which will be quite useful i hope the tutorial was helpful to you a quick and easy steps on how to use chat gpt for text correction if you want to make sure that your writing is fine 
without any grammatical errors, then you can use ChatGPT in order to correct the grammatical errors in a text. First, open up a web browser and log into your ChatGPT account. In the URL box, type in chat.openai.com and log into your ChatGPT account first. Now, in the text box, simply type in check and correct the sentence and then open up a column and type in the sentence that you'd like to correct. Close off the sentence by another column and then tap the send or the airplane button. You'll be able to see that ChatGPT has corrected the error for you. That is how you'll be able to correct your text by using ChatGPT. How to write an essay on ChatGPT well, Since ChatGPT can write almost anything that you want, it can even write essays in a matter of seconds. If you want to write a complete essay with excellent proficiency, then here is how to do it. First, make sure you've created an OpenAI account. If you've not, go ahead and sign up for OpenAI. Open up a web browser. In the web address bar, type in openai.com and press enter on your keyboard. Once you end up in the official site, click on the API link at the top right. Now, click sign up. In order to sign up for OpenAI account, if you already have an account, Click login. Enter your email address and your password and log into your account like you normally do. Once you're logged into your account, click on the playground link at the top. In the text field, provide the data for an essay. For example, I've typed in this information over here. Now, you can also select the maximum length you'd want for this request. And now click on the submit button at the bottom left. Wait for a few minutes and you'll be able to see an essay written on any topic that you provided. If you want to continue typing in more essays on this particular topic, then you can also request for more by typing in more or typing in make it longer and so on. You can now copy your essay and paste it into another document. Save your essay that is created from chat GPT by clicking on save at the top right, type in the name for your essay. If you want to add any descriptions, type it in, in the description tab and click save. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to write an essay on chat GPT. That is how it can be done. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I'll be back soon with more videos like this. Thank you for watching.